Welcome back everybody, it's LaShonda with Lather and More with another video. Today we will be making um, our men's, uh, restocking our men's soap, our Cool Stream men's soap. And um, as you can see I've already uh, melted my oils down. Um, recipe consists of coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, olive, no, castor oil. And um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to give it a quick stick land on low before I add my lye to my solution. Perfect. I'm using a strainer, you guys, uh, to strain my lye solution just in case there's some bits that did not fully dissolve. It will catch it because you don't really want that in the soap. I'm soaping at room temperature, which is, let's see here, um, my lye solution is 76 and my oils is at 86. I'm going to go ahead and add my kale and clay, my collodial oatmeal, And I'm going to just stick blend that out just a little bit. Coconut milk is going in already pre stirred. That out the way. And we are going to blend this until we reach light trace. Alright, we have reached light trace, you guys. I'm going to stick my set my stick blender to the side and I am going to evenly pour out my soap batter amongst the colors. Today we'll be, we will be making the soap with um, Ultramarine Blue by TKV Trading and Peacock Blue uh, from Mad Oils and also Titanium Dioxide from TKV Trading. It doesn't have to be exactly um, the same, but I like for it to be close to it. And yes, I do hum while I am soaping. Half of the times I don't really realize that I'm doing it, but I don't really mind. It's Sunday, you guys. I'm making soap in my moo moo. Yes. Well, it's not really a moo moo. It's a very comfortable nightgown that I love. So, I'm soaping in it. And it's my Halloween nightgown. I'm super excited for Halloween, you guys. And, um, I want to make some Halloween inspired bath bombs, too. You know, you guys know that I love making cupcake bath bombs and just, um, just pretty products. Uh, that smell really great and really good for the skin. So I'm just mixing in these, um, the micas. I am going to stick blend it a little bit, but I want to go ahead and get my colorant well incorporated in there before I start stick blending because I don't want it to be really, really uh, thick when I'm starting to pour. Mm -hmm. And here's my fragrance oil. I use uh, four ounces of fragrance oil in my recipes. I have a standard recipe that I like to use. Um, I don't tend to shy away from it. Unless it's a facial soap, then I put really good skin loving um, oils in the soap. Ooh, this smells good. Mm. Mama is happy. 
yes. This fragrance oil does not rise, um, and it does allow for you to have a lot of um, work time with it. So it will thin out your um, soap batter, which is fine because you want time to do whatever type of design that you want to do. All right, so. Let me get these spatulas out of here. Yeah, see that titanium dioxide down below? Um, it likes to stick. So, we're going to do this one first. stuff out the way so I have much more larger space to work with. Alright, so here we have our mold and let's just see here. Um, we are going to start with our dark blue first. Just put a little bit in there. much. Next is going to be white. Followed by the teal. And we're just going to go ahead and keep alternating between colors, you guys until we reach the top and I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part till we get to the top because it's going to take me quite a while to do it. All right.
I have finished adding all of the soap into the molds. We're going to go ahead and just do a swirl on the top of the soap. And we'll call it a day. Let's see here. I'm doing it on this kind of like on the slant because this is, is a cool water type soap so I want these swirls to be really really defined Let's see here I like that some of these white in there. Alright. Not going to do too much more with the soap. Just clean up the edges a bit. in here. Alright, and there you have it. Cool Stream Men's Soup. Stay tuned for the cut, and then I'll bring you back. Bye, you guys. Hey everyone, welcome back, and today we get to cut the Cool Streams Men's Soap, so I'm super excited about that, and uh, this soap has been out of the mold for a full 24 hours, it's nice and hard, so let's get to cutting and see how it looks on the inside, Ooh, that's a bit harder. Um, as I stated in the, um, the earlier part of the video, I did put salt in the soap, so but I like it. I do, I do, I do. And I might just close this blind because I'm thinking that the sun is really not doing this soap its full justice but see very pretty and this was just a drop swirl you guys um, I didn't use any tools ah, did you guys hear that it just Popped on its own, but I like it. Mmm, it smells amazing. The scent is very strong, which I like. These bars will take four weeks to cure. Really, really hard. Super excited about that. Um, yay. No glycerin rivers. Yay, I'm happy about that. I did notice that the the um the ultramarine blue mic uh, pigment it I wish it would have um, 
mixed a little better because there's little speckles that I can see in the soap. But for the most part, I love them. That pretty green teal color. Alright you guys, check you later to the next video. Toodles!